Yet another day on board the Riga space station, and I'm telling you, in this game it really is something when you can just look out your window and see the ship that you're in. So yeah, uh, a lot of people uh, didn't really... Well, it, it got a pretty good response, but a lot of people didn't like my earlier video, the KSP Easy Rendezvous tutorial, uh, because of all the mistakes I made, and... Although the point was to kind of learn from my mistakes, I understand a lot of people just want me to get to the point, so... Uh, that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. It's going to be edited. It's actually a post-commentary, and I'm just going to, uh, you know, try and make this quicker. So, first let's go into the VAB to see what we can do here. Okay, so now to do a quick rundown of what we need. Obviously, up top, you need your docking port. You can't dock without that. You're going to need an RCS tank, basically a whole RCS system that includes the RCS tank and the RCS thrusters. And another thing that you're probably going to need is... Um, an SIS module. You, do, you don't really need the SIS, but it, it just it helps a lot to have. And you also need to make sure that the whole system is balanced, and here's a way that you can fix that. Okay, so what you want to do, uh, once you're on the launch pad, to check the RCS balancing is hit Alt F12. And what Alt F12 will do is it'll bring up this menu for um, basically different uh, cheats and debug menu stuff. What you want to do is select Hack Gravity. And what that'll do is basically, I don't know if it disables gravity or just lessens it or what, but it'll basically allow you to move like you're in space, and that's great for testing the RCS. What you'll want to do is just kind of pull away from the launch pad a little bit, and once you've thrusted up enough, as I'm about to do, you're going to want to start to thrust side to side, and what this will check is that your craft won't start to kind of turn or otherwise change its heading while you're trying to dock, which can be really annoying. It can be done. I mean, you can do it with an unbalanced craft, it can be done, it's just really, really annoying, which is why I recommend testing it here on the pad. And this craft seems to be okay, so we'll just do that. Okay, so now we're on the pad for real. We're ready to launch. We have our launch vehicle and everything. And what we're going to want to do is see where the station is above us. Really, what I'm about to do here is try and kind of come right up to it, which isn't really going to work out, but it doesn't really matter. You just want to make sure when you launch, it's not directly on the other side of the planet because no matter what, then, it'll take a really long time. So now we're thrusting up to Apoapsis, and what we're going to want to do is reach its Apoapsis match height with the space station, which is 316 kilometers. And basically, that's going to be our judge of what we need to do next in order to either catch up with the station or allow it to catch up with us. So now you see we're up top. We're a little bit higher than we need to be, but that doesn't matter. And now that we're up here, we see that we're behind it. We need to catch up to it. So we're going to set it as target. And we get these indicators that aren't really going to help us all that much, although a lot of people do find them useful. I don't need them. What's happening now is once we get to Apoapsis, we're going to thrust up so that we're on an orbit that's a little more circular, a little more similar to the station itself. Only we're going to want to be in a lower orbit, and that's because... The lower the orbit you're in, the faster you'll move, and we need to be moving faster than it, which means we need to have an apoapsis of below 316 kilometers. So now we're thrusting forward, and if you mouse over it, you can see the distance between you and your target. And right now, we're getting closer, you can see very gradually, increasing as the gap between our apoapsis... Uh... Okay, now we're at the descending node, which means we have to thrust north, and that'll adjust our inclination so that we're basically on the same track as them. So now what I'm doing is I'm lowering my apoapsis, and that's because I want to be consistently lower than the space station, which will allow me to be moving just not much, but just a little bit faster than the station, which means that I will just kind of slowly drift towards it. And now we're within 100 kilometers, which means basically two things. Um, the first is that it will now actually show up if we go into our regular spacecraft view. There it is over there. And the second thing is that we need to raise our apoapsis so that we can actually get close to this thing. So what we're going to do is raise our apoapsis to about 316. Maybe a little more, depending on if we need to actually let it catch up to us a little bit. And what's coming up now is our closest intersect indicator, and that'll show us basically the, or our distance from each other once our planes intersect. And right now, if we just keep it like this, we'll come within 600 meters, um, adjusting it a little more so that uh, 
will come within two. But what's going to happen is I'm actually not going to end up needing this, like I said before, because as I'm going to accelerate, I'm going to find that we're actually a lot closer now, and I can actually bring us in a lot sooner than the indicator told us. And that's because basically you can come here in when you come within about 10 to 20 kilometers from each other. And you see now we're within 10, or within 11 at least. And so what we're going to do is start trying to burn towards it. Now, the way to do that isn't just to burn straight towards it. What you need to do is figure out where you're actually moving in relation to it. The way to do that is, as you're going to see in a second, is to switch your indicator from instead showing your orbital velocity to your target velocity. See, down there we're moving 10 meters a second in relation. And that's just our speed in general in relation to the target. That's where we're heading. So what we're going to want to do is slow down and kill off all of our velocity in relation to the target, or at least as much as you can, and then go to its prograde, which will bring us... Basically, it's the indicator that will bring us towards the target if we burn in that direction. So you burn towards that, and make sure that your prograde indicator is directly on it. And once you've done that, just get yourself up to a speed that you want. You can basically make it whatever speed you feel comfortable with. You might want to play it safe. Right now I'm going to kind of play it between safe and uh, dangerous. And go for about, I think I bring it to about 45 meters per second, something like that. Once you've done this, you can just warp ahead. And as you're moving, and this will happen more depending on uh, how far out you do this from, you'll notice that your prograde drifts away from the direction you want it to move in. You can just move your thing and burn like this, just to kind of keep it on track. You'll have to stop your warp every once in a while, just to make sure you're heading in the right direction. It won't take much. Okay, so once you're within about 2.5 kilometers, which is where the game will at that point render the actual parts of the other ship, uh, it's actually physically in your game at that point, you're going to want to try and slow down using the same methods before to make sure your uh, retrograde, is is, yeah, retrograde is pointing the right way. And just slow down to whatever speed you're comfortable with. Uh, just remember that this is the final approach, so you don't want to be moving too fast. It's better to be moving too slow than too fast so that you don't slam into your space station. Which I have done many, many times. So we're getting pretty close to the station now, so now it's time to completely slow down. And what we're going to want to do this time is completely kill off all of our velocity, uh, preferably less than 100 meters from the station. Uh, and that'll just kind of give us time to uh, see what we need to do. Due to some early stupidity in my career mode, uh, this only has actually one docking port available in this size. There are actually none others attached to this thing. So first what I'm going to do is move the HAB module away from the station. And now what you'll want to do is... I think I didn't record it. I don't think Fraps got it. But basically you need to click on the docking port like I'm doing here and hit set target. It'll be the same, just it'll say set, set instead of onset. And what you need right here is this little mod right here. You see that on the bottom right. That is the docking port alignment indicator. Uh, link in the description to that mod. It's very easy to install. Um, and what you want to do, I'll just show you how to use that here. Uh, first get that orange thing to basically be in the middle of the screen. And then that yellow thing is basically your direction of travel. You want that to be kind of where the green indicators are. So just use RCS, uh, figure out the controls until you get there and basically, basically experiment to see which controls will move it in which direction. It shouldn't take you more than a couple of seconds. And make sure you keep the yellow indicator on top of the green one. And basically, if it seems, it'll seem like you're going a little bit too fast, but don't worry, because you'll be, once it's moving in the right direction, it'll basically just be slowing down until you get there. Just make sure you keep the yellow on top of the green, and basically your goal is to get all three of the things on top of each other. Now, as you can see, we're getting very close to the station. Uh, once you've gotten all things pretty much on top of each other, your better indicator now will be all the way on the bottom here on the nav ball. And basically, I think I'm about to point to that. What you want to do is make sure that the green prograde indicator is on top of uh, the pink one, which indicates the docking port in this case, and you want to move forward. Just very slowly forward. Make sure that target velocity is about half a meter per second or less and just keep that prograde indicator in the right spot it doesn't have to be exact just as long as it's well yeah it has to be pretty much exact but not exact exact you know what i mean so what we're going to need to do now is just get within five meters turn off sas and rcs and the magnetism will do the rest and there you have it 
Um, no word on the docking or, or the hab module that I just got rid of that is now drifting off into space. Uh, but I'm sure they'll be fine. They have snacks. Um, in the meantime, I hope this helped. And if there's anything else you want to know, just tell me. And if I know how to do it, I'll make a video.